Hello, hello, I'm Jody Dean. Let's talk about thought leaps and how to heal them. So this is something that <clears throat> covered to an extent in the workshop I did last week with my friend Sasha Chapman, who uh, is an amazing woman. And uh, we, we did a play power and purpose workshop and we covered some of this. So what it is, is that you have these, we, human race anyone who has a brain and a mind have these recurring thoughts that happen we call them loops and so i'm just gonna just tune into one now that i'll have going on because you may have multiple going on in any particular minute um welcome to being human and um, so for example my thought loop right now that i can connect with is um oh jody's hair looks crap uh people will reject him and won't love me for that that's one. So I just named it. Named you. Got you. Got you, Thought Loop. Got you. You'd no longer have power over me. Ha 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 ha. Um, so <clears throat> that's so naming the Thought Loop, it, it, it ceases to have the power that it did when it's in here and internal. When you let it out, externalize it, or you identify it and then speak it, for example can be a very powerful way to let go of something and bring it more into your awareness and go, ha, ah, are you real? Are you actually real? Are you, are you actually something I should trust or, you know, base my life choices on this, this thought? So um, another one, who is Jody? Who am I to speak about these things to the public and stand up as some kind of expert? It's another one that comes up right now. So yeah, why why would we listen to you? Why should I listen to you? Like, why would anyone listen to me? This thought loop comes up, like imposter syndrome, kind of, who am I to talk about these things? So this comes up. So I'm speaking it out, and again, it just all, all automatically seems stupid and and um, not as powerful as it did when it was in my head and I was giving it credence. So I'm just letting it out and going, ha ha, look at you. Yeah, I, I'm... I'm, I'm me, right? I'm me to do this and to talk about this. So, yeah, I would also love, since we're, we're doing this live, I would love for anyone who's watching to also chime in with a thought loop. Hey, let's short, share our, our, our thought loops that maybe we want to like bring more conscious awareness to. So now the next step is, and then this is another good one as well, because you can work with really deep, thoughts where which have really kind of got you in a stranglehold and making you feel depressed right or or lethargic or upset so what you can do I'm just gonna wave at these people hi nicole hi bonnie hi muckus is to ask yourself the simple question is this true is that thought true so for example I'm, so this, this, this last thought that came up for me when I was recording this is, uh, you know, who am I, right? Who am I to, to I'm, I'm a no, so basically behind that is like, I'm a nobody insignificant, um, which is one of my main thought loops that, that comes, comes and <laughs> comes around <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> um, I'm insignificant. And um, I recently connected with something in my childhood, which is about not being seen and not really being significant. Um, so the, yeah, these okay they they do connect back to childhood stuff, right? So and that's what I also talk about in my in the star of who you are, the five elements, self mastery, um, and the water element, um, which is something I get into um, with my work that I do. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so this 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 current thought loop that I'm, I've been having right just on this on this on this live right now is that who am I right? As I'm nobody, I'm, I'm insignificant. So behind that, to ask ask myself, is that true? Is it true? This this I'm a nobody. I'm insignificant. Nobody cares what I think. No one no one sees me as significant. So I look at that and I just ask myself, is this true? It's like ah, oh, this is true. And I start to see that it's a memory. It's it's connected with a memory that it's not actually real in this moment. That I can't find any evidence in this moment this moment to moment reality that this is actually real, this is a real thing. Like I can look at 
oh, is it true that I'm holding um, a, a selfie stick, looking at a cat, looking at my phone, going live? Yeah, yeah, I can see that's self-evident, right? Self-evident right here, right now. But this this insignificant thing, no, it's not. I'm not seeing that it's true, right? So, so that's where you can go and you can start looking. It can be very complex and it can be quite hard and it can be painful to ask that and to look at that. And maybe I can't find, maybe I'm identify with with this idea, another I thought idea that comes in, which says, ah, you know, no, you're insignificant. Nobody cares. Look, there's only one person watching, or or look, that two people left your life, so therefore, whatever you're talking about is nonsense, and nobody loves you, and they won't approve of you, and they'll never want to see you again. So that happens, right? So then it's like looking at that. Oh, okay, it's interesting. There's this other thought process that comes out of that. So we identify the thought we name it as best we can and then we ask is this true are you true mr thought mrs thought that's coming along that's <laughs> making itself known and taking over your senses perceptions your mind your nervous system and causing stress so yeah so that's that's a really i, I really encourage to to use this tool it's powerful it's very very powerful it just might make you happy so yeah that's another thing hi nusha nice name love that name yeah so i just went through that process and uh, with you and so and it's great because i'm already experiencing the fun on and the the release of naming identifying naming and asking if it's true that thought and yes i noticed somewhere in my consciousness especially in my it's in my gut right now about the significance that i mentioned earlier the insignificant idea that i have about me being insignificant i, I kind of feels in my gut i can feel it down here and and so that's interesting as well because i'm very curious about the gut brain connection and i was just messaging someone about that and i'm doing a cleanse at the moment as well so um it's a colon cleanse as well so i'm like letting go of this stuff so uh that's something that i'm a constant source of fascination for me is is how the the mind and the body are connected and uh, they have one on many different levels just looking at this is it charging yes it is okay so yeah um that's all I wanted to say in this video, really, unless anyone, thanks, Marcus says, uh, love this. Thank you, Marcus. Um, anyone else who wants to chime in on, on the live right now with a comment about a thought loop you're having, then please go ahead. You know, don't be shy. Don't be a stranger. Shine your light. And if not, then I will clock off for the day and uh, come up with something else tomorrow. <laughs> Or, or maybe the next day we'll see but yeah I'm loving this sharing online in this way and um, sharing some of the tools that I use for transformation and self-discovery and basically liberation at the end of the day and um, these are all footsteps in awakening which uh, we have access to and I'm excited to be working on a group coaching program at the moment which I'll be announcing soon I'm very excited about that and yes what a lovely day we've had what a lovely day the sunshine in the uk so have a nice day have an amazing time hi barry gotta go take care love you i've been jody dean flow ninja have an amazing life bye